the ministry's thrust towards the integrated multimodal transport system will generate numerous jobs in construction, maintenance, operations, along with customer service and spin-off services from year one to year five of the implementation plan. Developing the mineral policies with the implementation of the policy for 2016, 2017 and 2018, 19. Those and more will ground government's plans for the transport and mining sectors in the 2016-2017 fiscal year and beyond. The future is an integrated multimodal transport system connecting road, rail, sea and air. And it is bright. As part of that plan, wide-scale aviation and supporting logistics developments is to take place over a 10-year period at Vernon Field in Clarendon. The Vernon Field project is supposed to be the apple of my eye. I envisage a public-private sector-led development of an international and industrial and passenger and air cargo tramp airport. The project is estimated to be 2.5 billion over a 10-year phase development. The enterprise team to facilitate the project's implementation has been approved by cabinet. The socio-economic benefits offer significant value to Jamaica's improved GDP. A high level of direct and indirect employment, an increased cadre of skilled technicians, increased cargo traffic and the opportunity to enhance Jamaica's position as a global hub. The Transport Ministry will also be upgrading air navigation equipment at the Norman Manley Airport to state-of-the-art standards. Concession agreements are also being pursued for the privatization of that airport as well as the Ian Fleming International Airport. As it moves ahead to establish the island as a major world maritime center, the Transport Ministry will also be expanding Jamaica's ship registry and developing dry docking facilities during this fiscal year. Fuel farms in Kingston and Montego Bay and leisure boating in selected ports will be facilitated. And steps will be taken to achieve university status for the Caribbean Maritime Institute. In line with that, a state-of-the-art simulation-based training facility will be opened at CMI in September 2017, providing degree certification in mechatronics. A resuscitated railway system is also part of government's plans for the multimodal transport system. As a start, the Ministry and the Development Bank of Jamaica are pursuing a 270 million US dollar investment that does not require any government of Jamaica guarantees or direct support. Sections of the railway at Montego Bay, Spanish Town and Clarendon will be upgraded. Plans are also in train for mono rail for sections of Kingston. The government also plans to improve the linkages between Portmore and the corporate area this fiscal year. The Portmore hub is estimated to cost just over 47 million pounds. Provision has been made in the 2016-2017 budget for 35 new buses for the JUTC and the Transport Ministry is seeking to add a further 270 buses to the fleet. At the same time, the Ministry will be rehabilitating buses using Brazilian technology. A rural to urban transport plan will be developed with a view to provide equitable transport alternatives. A pilot effort is the begin of the new school year in September. The JUTC with the necessary approvals of the Transport Authority will be rolling out a three route operation extending from Old Harbour in St. Catherine near to the Clarendon Manchester and inclusive of all sections of Southern Clarendon. The new Road Traffic Act and the National Transport Policy will also come and stream, while work will be pursued to establish the Land Transportation Authority as a one-stop shop for land transport matters. A priority for the Mining Ministry is to finalize the National Minerals Policy, creating the framework for investments in the industrial and metallic minerals subsectors. Other developments planned include the resumption of full refining operations at all part, following planned acquisition from UC Rosal by China's Zhuquan Iron and Steel Company. Meanwhile, support is being bolstered for small-scale private sector mining as well as public institutions and communities that operate in the low-value mining and minerals sector. This will be done under an ACP EU Development Minerals Program with funding to the tune of 750,000 euros. It includes 
looking at industrial minerals, construction minerals, dimension of stones, semi-precious stones, and I could go on. The Ministry of Transport and Mining, creating pathways for growth and prosperity.